The next one is a xenon compound XeO2 F2. Xenon forms compound with only two elements that is fluorine and oxygen because of the electronegativity values. Xenon is the noble gas that forms many compounds, I mean more than even the known elements. Now we can count the number of valence electron. Xenon contribute 8 and two oxygen atoms are there, therefore 6 into 2, 12. Now fluorine is a halogen. Each halogen has 7 electrons, therefore 2 into 7, 14. Now you take 14 plus 12, 26. Now we have 34 electrons total. Now 34 should be divided by 8 first. Now we have the quotient 4. So note the quotient 4 first. So now 32, remainder 2. 2 should be divided by again 2. Now again one more quotient we obtain. So that 1. So 4 plus 1, 5. So we have 5 hybrid orbitals. That is given by sp3d. And sp3d gives rise to trigonal bipyramidal geometry shape. So in xenon, this oxyfluoride, the central atom xenon is in sp3 hybridized state. Next one is an interhalogen compound BrF3. So interhalogen compounds are very reactive except fluorine and they have weak covalent bonds. And BrF3, now again we count the number of valence electron. Since we have bromine as well as fluorine both are halogens. So 1 plus 3, 4. So 4 into 7. Now we have 28 valence electrons. And 28 valence electron again the same process only. 28 divided by 8. So at that time, first quotient will be what is called 3. So 3 into 8 to 24 and remaining 4. And that 4 should be divided by what is called 2. Now we have the second quotient 2. So in total, 3 plus 2, 5. Just like the previous common only. So 5 hybrid orbitals are obtained in sp3d hybridization. So sp3d hybridization leads to 5 hybrid orbitals. Therefore, in BrF3, the central atom is in sp3 hybridized state.